Hey everyone, it's Lauren. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be starting a new series on denim. I've been slowly piecing together my fall wardrobe for the upcoming season and realized that I needed to add some new pairs of denim to my wardrobe. Finding a good fitting pair of jeans is such a personalized, tailored experience because we all have different body types, different shapes, which is totally okay. Um, but that makes denim shopping a little bit frustrating for the majority of us. In this series, I thought I would take you along with me inside the dressing rooms of some of these places. Some things I will have to order online as stocks and um, availability tend to kind of fluctuate with current circumstances that are still going on in the world. Before we get started today, I first and foremost want to welcome you to Closet Ecology. This channel is all about helping you build a practical and sustainable wardrobe, so if that sounds interesting to you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. For starters, I want to talk a little bit about my size. I am typically about a size 12 or a 31, but every once in a while I'll have to size up to a 14 or a 32, just kind of depending on the brand and the fit. I am also five foot eight, however, I have very short legs. So the majority of the time I need to find denim that is a cropped length or an ankle length for it to look appropriate lengthwise for me personally. Thankfully, cropped or ankle length denim has been extremely popular for the fat for the past uh, few years and I have just completely lucked out with that because before that it was really hard for me to find a short inseam denim. So the styles of denim that you're going to be seeing in this series are mostly going to be skinny jeans. Yes, I do love skinny jeans. I don't care what Gen Z says. I will wear those until the day I die. High rise perfect fitting skinny jeans is just a wardrobe staple in my opinion. They have been around long enough that they are considered a classic and at the end of the day it doesn't matter if something is in or out. You need to wear what you love and what looks best on you and what you feel the best in. I am definitely going to be adding at least one pair of skinny jeans to my wardrobe. Um, if not more than that. And I'm also going to be experimenting with the straight leg vintage fit type of jeans as well. That is something that I'm very much interested in trying. It's super trendy right now, but again, it's kind of one of those styles that I feel is a little bit of a classic. Uh, but sometimes I have a harder time with these trendy type of jeans fitting my body correctly. So my body type is kind of in between hourglass and pear shape. I kind of feel like I fluctuate between the two of those. Um, sometimes I feel a little more pear, sometimes I feel a little bit more hourglass, but I have a thinner waist and I carry a lot of my weight on my lower half. So again, finding a great pair of fitting denim can be a little bit of a challenge. I'm going to be starting off this series at Madewell. So if you've never tried Madewell jeans before, I would highly suggest that you give them a go. I feel like they have great style and size representation. They have a lot of different washes and feels to their denim. They have some that have little to no stretch and some that are like basically like a jegging style. I feel like their denim can fit a lot of different body types and a lot of different styles as well. In terms of price, I would consider made well jeans to be that mid tier price range. Most of their denim is around that $100 mark. Some of them are a little bit more and some of them are a little bit less. They do often go on sale though, so I highly suggest that you watch out for that. If there are any current sale promotions, I will be sure to leave that all down in the description for you below. I will also be listing all the pairs of denim that I'm sharing with you today that I'm trying on, the size, the style, and the fit. Without further ado, let's get right into the fitting room. Okay, so the first pair of jeans that I'm gonna be showing you today are the Curvy Perfect Vintage Jean in the Fitzgerald Wash. So something to note is that these are a size 30. So whenever you're buying the curvy jeans, it is recommended that you size down. Here's me doing a booty shake, <laughs> being a little ridiculous, but I did like the fit of those overall. 
This is also the same type of denim, the Curvy Perfect Vintage, but this is in the Lunar Wash. And as you can see, it is a little bit snug on the uh, waist portion of it, which I found a little bit strange, but that can be typical if you are getting a different wash, even if it's the same uh, style of denim. And here it is in the 31, just to show you the difference. This one was way too big and uh, definitely I know that if I would have bought the 31 that it would have stretched out throughout the day and just looked pretty saggy and sad, which is not what you want with a good pair of jeans. Moving on to a pair of skinny jeans. This is the classic 10 inch high rise skinny jeans from Madewell. I unfortunately cannot remember the wash on these, so I'm going to link several pairs for you all down below. Um, slight waist gap there, but nothing too bad. Here I am showing off the tag. So I got these in a 31. So these are the regular fit. They are not the curvy fit, um, but these were just a teensy bit too long. I was kind of on the fence on them because they were not that cropped or ankle length for me. The last pair I'm gonna be sharing with you is a pair from my living room. I had to order these online. These are the curvy perfect vintage jeans in the coffee wash. I think I'm saying that correctly. Um, they did not have these in my size in store and I did like the look of them even though I'm not super into that distressed look anymore. They were a lot lighter in person than I was expecting them to be so that was a little bit of a disappointment and um, these are in a size 30 because they are the curvy fit. Um, they didn't hold me in in the hips like I would like but the rise was absolutely perfect. Um, I thought the butt looked okay <laughs> here, but not the best. Um, they were just kind of okay to me. That concludes my Madewell try on haul. I hope that this was helpful to you guys. So I unfortunately ended up not keeping or purchasing any of the jeans that I shared with you today. I just kind of felt like all the jeans that I tried on for you have just kind of been a little bit off. They were either not the right length, uh, they just felt a little bit too loose in certain areas or a little bit too tight in certain areas, and I wasn't just absolutely loving any of them. And that's just how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you just have to do a lot of experimenting, a lot of trial and error before you find the right pair of denim for you. I've owned Madewell jeans in the past, and the biggest piece of advice that I can give you is that you should buy the pair of jeans that fit you the best and snug, but not to the point of looking uncomfortable or being too tight because in my experience in the past, these jeans do stretch out a little bit over time. So you don't want them to be too loose fitting or they're going to be a little bit baggy towards the end of the day. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I hope that this was helpful. Let me know down in the comments below if you have tried Madewell jeans before or if you own any and what styles that you prefer and recommend. I would love to hear from you down in the comments below. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.